Now, I don't know about better, but they sure as heck are a lot cheaper. Now, if you followed the channel before, you know that we love bags. EDC bags, sling bags, hiking bags, bug out bags, grocery bags, computer slash urban bug out bags, colostomy bags, a kids bug out slash evacuation bags, and ultralight bug out bag. The bottom line, we like bags. But the one thing I really don't enjoy about bags is making it rain when it comes time to purchase them. I'm a paramedic, I have two kids, and I have a small business, and that equals... Now don't get me wrong, I love 511 and Maxpedition. In fact, this Rush Moab 6 511 sling bag has been my everyday carry sling bag for over five years. Love it. This is the Maxpedition Fatty Organizer. I love stuffing as much survival crap in these things as I can. Great companies, both of them but always a little pricey. Oh, hi there. I just wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored and that I purchased everything in this video with my own hard-earned money. Why is this video not sponsored? Because it's a small channel. How about you hit that subscribe button? Thank you. So after several years of carrying my 511 Rush Moab 6, I've just outgrown it now. 511 makes a larger version of this. This is 11 liters. They make an 18 liter. I believe it's the Rush Moab 10. Everything's linked in the description. I have just outgrown this, and I'm not ready to spend 511 money right now. So me and my wife were at a gun show this past weekend and ran into a vendor selling some VISM gear. We purchased a sling bag and a backpack, and we'll talk briefly about them today. We paid $35 for these bags. Okay. Here's the difference in the backpack. And the sling bag, the sling bag is what I am moving into with all of my gear out of my 511. They come in several different colors. I went with the gray. Uh, this seems to be my theme lately. It does have the external uh, military molly attachments, so you can put all your gear on the outside if you want to. I'm not a huge fan of that because I'll just lose it, plus it screams, hey, I've got stuff you can steal. But it did come with this external insulated pocket for your bottles and your drinks. Probably get two uh, Diet Coke cans in there, a big, huge, fat water bottle, 32-ounce Gatorade. Let's go through the pockets. There's a small pocket here on the very front. And I've already kind of started moving in this next pocket right here. It folds down uh, almost all the way. Uh, you can see I've already got my Maxpedition uh, survival kit in here. We'll link a video to that so you can guys go watch. I've got uh, a couple of additional items here. Pen, poncho, headlamp. Oh, looky there. Several inside uh, sewn pockets as well for your smaller items. And it's also got a hook for if you want to put a key in it. Go to this next pouch up here. It does have the Velcro, so you can put your patch there if you want to. Some state pat patches will be coming soon. Uh, this pouch right here, I use it for sunglasses, my reading glasses. I'm actually able to fit several pair of glasses in here, and I can always get to them relatively easily. It's, let's go to the next pocket. This one folds down three-fourths of the way. Uh, $5 extra with this. It has a concealed carry pouch. We'll get to that area in a moment. I've got an emergency blanket in there. I am still in the process of moving into this one. And finally, let's get into the main back uh, deep pouch. This one is also a fold three-fourths of the way down. Uh, still moving into this. Won't bother you with the gear we have inside. It has a large mesh pocket right here. And this is also a concealment bag if you choose to use it for that. If not, this is just another place to put stuff. And here is your concealment compartment. Kind of hidden on the front and the side. And I, mean, I can get my whole forearm in there. So it does have Velcro in the inside. Um, so if it comes with that Velcro holster, you can put in here and you can get your primary weapon out very quickly. It does have some... Uh, elastic hook and loop uh, for you to secure uh, whatever you need to secure also a ring which you can clip a carabiner into some uh, material on the back that's going to keep you cool and keep the air circulating also very important 
So there's the VISM Slim Bag. What I'm moving into, we'll do a full review on this when it's fully packed and let you guys know how that went. So this is the one that my wife purchased. It is actually the backpack. They are relatively the same size. So I left this intact on this one uh, where you can actually put a coat or a sweater or a wool blanket or something in here and secure that. The sling bag also came with that. This just kind of gets in the way because I use this for daily, but I kept it, it stays in the bag. Uh, we'll show you that on that video. Basically the same size, um, Molly attachments, all of the same compartments. There is really nothing different about the backpack version than there was from the sling bag version. Why did I buy this bag? Had all the options I wanted, was the size I wanted, the color I wanted, and it was cheap, $35. Yeah, I could go buy a much more expensive bag, but I enjoy putting gear in bags as well. Gear costs money, so if I can save money on a pack or a sling bag or a backpack, I'm going to do that. Now, the only issues that I've had so far without really, really using this a whole bunch is these lanyards through the zippers uh, will come off. If they're not tightened, you can actually buy the colored zipper pulls on Amazon and color code your zippers if you'd like to. I think we're going to do that. Also, you may run into some issues with the zipper kinking up a little bit, and that may be where if we'd have paid some more money that wouldn't have happened it will open but you may not be able to get a good open as you can see on that one right there so i might have got what i paid for but so far i like the bags if you guys enjoyed today's content do us a favor hit that thumbs up if you want more content like this prepping preparedness gear reviews edc backpacks hit that subscribe button for weekly video you guys find us on instagram and facebook so much easier to have a conversation with you Leave us some comments down in the description. Until next time, folks, I'm Justin. Be safe.